It's really hard to summarise what um, Say You Think You Can Dance has meant to me. Um, I think I've met some great, incredibly inspiring people. Um, I just lo I love the idea that you can do something that you love and it's not because you want to become rich and famous, it's just because you love it. I think that's there's something so um, great about that. Um, I love the fact that who would have predicted that a show like this would ever be on Fox? If someone turned around and went, okay, it's going to be prime time on Fox and there's going to be a pas de bras, I mean, they just wouldn't, no one would have predicted that. I love that. Um, and I think for me personally, I mean, it's it's completely changed my life. I, I came here um, and I didn't know what to expect. Um, I had no idea. I never envisaged that the show would be this successful. Um, and it's completely changed my life. I, I, I came here, I had an adventure, I worked with tons of great people. I love the show I do. I love the fact that it's celebrating the American dream of the fact that you can come from anywhere, be any race, religion, colour, creed. It doesn't matter if you've got a talent and you're passionate about it. You can be anything you want to be. And, uh, and I even feel that... It, it, personally too you know I I come from a very small town and my mum and dad aren't anyone famous and I never went to stage school and I have a house in Beverly Hills and and, and I love the job I do and it and, I, and it's I still feel um you know I feel incredibly great grateful for it I don't forget it ever you know what it's the same show you know and love only back bigger and better and every year it happens and every year you I approach it with a little trepidation you go, you turn around and go how can we possibly beat last season you know how can we possibly you know raise the bar from from Twitch and Cyrus coming through that fake glass and and, and like doing the animation style that we never seen before how can we possibly better it and yet somehow, because of everybody that works on the show and the talent of the dancers, every year it, 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 the, the bar is raised. Um, and so that's all I can say is it's the same show you know and love, but bigger and better. The auditions so far for season 10 have been really exciting. Um, I think because people are realising that they don't have to just stick to one genre, you can actually mix it all up. And not I don't just mean in terms of the different styles of dance, but also in terms of the music as well. You could do a hip hop routine to a piece of classical music, or you could do contemporary to kind of, you know, a super jazz number. It's, it's up to you. And I think that's what, um, the dancers have really uh, learned is to, they've got to do something different. You're right, it's season 10, we've seen a million people by now and they've got to do something different and make the judges sit up in their seat and take notice. I actually can't believe that So You Think You Can Dance is on for the 10th season. You know, when I first came here, however many years ago, I think it was probably about seven now, because we doubled up one year. Um, you know, you always hope that it's going to be successful and that's always what you would like it to be, but I never in my wildest dreams thought that we would still be going season 10. And, you know, that's all down to the people who watch the show. It, while they keep watching, we'll keep giving it to them, you know, and, and so it's all down to them and thanks to them. I think what keeps the show fresh is of course the talent of the dancers and of course they're, they're amazingly talented and they're very much a unique group of people. Dancers work harder than anybody I've, that, that I ever know. They, they dance through injuries, they don't do it to become rich and famous, they do it because they can't imagine their life not dancing. Um, so that's incredibly inspiring I think, not, not just to me but to people watching at home. It's, it's a very pure form of uh, doing something that they love so much. To me, the most dangerous routines are always Doriana Sanchez's disco numbers. Because essentially, most people's specialty isn't disco. We have ballroom dancers, we have hip hop guys, we have contemporary, we have jazz, but we've never had somebody whose specialty is disco. Um, so it's always slightly out of people's comfort zones. And then they're always so fast because the disco numbers always, always are. 
And then there's normally about 15 lifts that you, and, and they have to keep moving at the same time and spinning around. And it's that moment where it's two people who are together that maybe have only practiced, rehearsed for six hours. They're not normally partners. And we've put these two people together and this guy is flinging this girl around and he has to be there for her every step of the way and she has to lift and pull up and do all of that. So those are always the most dangerous. And I also know actually they're the most dangerous because of the costume department as well. Because undoubtedly the girls are always beaded and the guys have to have a shirt that has um, uh, uh, underwear attached to it. It chafes. It's dangerous. <laughs>